Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and in today's video, I want to talk about the cervical spine distraction test. Okay, the reason we do this test is because we want to identify if there is nerve root compression in the neck causing discomfort down the, into the arms or down into the chest or even into the shoulder blade. Now, this is a great test. I love doing this test because it can tell us so much information. So, if the patient comes in and they are having pain away from the neck, um, and you pull it away, what you're trying to do there is you're trying to distract the vertebrae so it kind of pulls that disc material in away from the nerve root. It also opens up the foramen where the nerve root comes out on each side and it helps to open that up. Okay, so what we're going to do, the way we do this is I always take the patient and put them into slight flexion okay and I use the web space of my hand right here right at the suboccipital region okay so I'll I like to use my right hand underneath the head and I'm even gonna pull this pillow right out of there and so I have a nice position with my right hand holding the suboccipital space I then take the other hand and I hold it like this and what I do is I just give a nice pull nice little traction here just like this and I hold that for a second. I don't tell the patient what they're supposed to feel, I ask them. So if they say that the pain in their, their chest or their arm or their hand or the tingling down the arm or pain in the shoulder blade goes away, that's a pretty good sign that we're taking some pressure off of that nerve root and um, you know, not causing too much issue. Now, many people, most people that you do this with will have some relief when you do this, but if you do this test and all they say is that neck pain that I'm having here kind of settled down, well, all you're doing is you're opening up the facet joint and taking pressure off of that and that can be relieving and that can also be a treatment for them. Um, the other thing that you need to worry about is if you do traction like I'm doing now and they develop more pain down the arm, chest, or scapula, um, you need to be you know, worried that maybe they have a brachial plexus type of injury and they're having a nerve gliding issue, okay? So this can be diagnostic for that also. But most oftentimes you're opening up the frame and giving the nerve root a little bit of room. And if the problem is on the left side, you can even tilt the head to the right a little bit and give it some traction and that can even relieve it some more. So that is the cervical spine distraction test. Again, it's you know a 15 to 20 pound pull because you need to remember the head is about 10 to 15 pounds. So you wanna get past that point. Um, this is not only a diagnostic tool, but I treat people in this position a lot because it's very relieving. Um, so if you have any questions in regards to the cervical spine distraction test, please leave those in the comment section of uh, this video. And if you uh, liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.